Hey there, welcome back to our channel. After long three weeks, we are flying back to United States. Since our last day was in Hokkaido, we will be flying from Hokkaido to Tokyo, Tokyo to Seattle, Seattle to Arizona. In this video, we'll be sharing our Delta One experience and Delta lounges in Japan and Seattle, and a little bit of Centurion lounge in Seattle. I hope this video is helpful for you if you're trying to book Delta One or not. And hey, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel if you did because we've been seeing a lot of increase and I appreciate and Vinny appreciate as well. And now sit back and relax and I hope you enjoy this video. Any type of feedback and comments are welcome. Please don't be shy. Hi. Going home? Hi. Before going to Delta Lounge, we plan to shop our Japanese snack from the airport. One of our mistakes is we should have just shopped outside and then packed it because the store was very small and there are not many stores, especially the souvenir or snack shop. And the line was super long and there are a lot of people. So we have to squeeze in and shop. So that's one of the important information I want to share with you if you are planning to shop in the airport. but you may not have enough time. After shopping, we made it to the Delta Lounge. This lounge is fairly new. It was opened on July 2022. I was not really expecting much, honestly. I know Japanese foods are good, but this lounge was very, very good. So if you have time to stop by this lounge, I truly recommend it because their food was very good. They do have a ramen bar that actually cook for you. I wish we stayed longer, but we had to catch our flight, so we had to immediately eat and leave. Also, we were very sad we couldn't try the bar, but they do serve alcohol. There was no flight delay and we were able to board on our plane. And they do have a separate entrance for the Delta One and the other seats. Okay, this is Delta One seat in the middle. This time we were friendly enough, so we decided to sit together. Just joking, but anyway, um, seat is slightly smaller than the window side of seats. And I do have other footage of that from flying from Korea to United States. You can check above link. For the kit, they actually offer same one when I fly in 2022. And only difference is the hand cream and the lip balm are the different brands. Delta offers your welcome drink and here Delta actually offers way many more entertainment options. And the seat offers two USB and one outlet. And before dinner, they actually put the tablecloth on top of your table. Drink time, we don't really drink much, but we still like to try it. Those are the aqua selection they offer right now. He said due to pandemic, they reduce a lot of selections, hoping they will be bringing more options back. Hello. 
take a drink before dinner. Whatever you want it. No then? I did. <laughs> yes, we are. My flight attendant is Japanese. He is super friendly and he's very funny as well. And he got me a rosé and I truly enjoyed it. Delta also offers pretty nice headset and before I use it, I always clean it. I don't know, I'm the only one. So before the flight, we got an email to reserve our food and Vinny got a pork dish. I forgot exact name, but he truly enjoyed it. Look at that shrimp, it's so big. Anyway, it tastes very good and that salt is so cute. <laughs> I think that's why he filmed it. Anyway, to me, I got the Japanese traditional dish, I think. Um, this one was super good as well. And the wrap, there's rice, you just open it and eat it. While I didn't even finish my rosé, my flight attendant said, Do you want to try sake? And then, yeah, and he gave me the sake. American little bit. I don't know why he said American little bit, but I think he's just hilarious. I really like my flight attendant. And this was super strong. I don't know what kind of sake it is. Oh my god, it was so strong. Now in this table, I have a sake and rosé and I'm a very lightweight. I don't know how I'm gonna finish it. And I think I'm a little drunk. Look at it, dropping the rice and so on. And dessert. We know Delta desserts are good and we have high expectation. And I have to tell, it was super good. Vinny loves his ice cream. I love my dessert, I forgot what it was. While eating, we're having eye contact and saying it tastes good. And after eating dinner, they actually provide you a cloth to wipe your hands so you don't have to go to restroom. And you can lay down fully, they give you a blanket to cover yourself. And to me, Delta One seat is way more comfortable than the Korean airline. And Vinny is passed out and already sleeping. These are the cute pandas, and I finally fall asleep while watching the panda. Breakfast time. Vinny got a Japanese dish. The meat was super soft and tasty. And I got the blueberry rice pudding or a porridge. I forgot what's the name, but this one tastes super good. I need to look for a recipe. I cannot remember what was the exact name, but it tastes super, super good. Before landing, the flight attendants gave us a little gift. We saw not everyone was getting it. I don't know the reason why we we're getting, but I put it on my Conrad Osaka Bear Bear. So cute. And I truly enjoyed the flight and the service for the Delta One this time. The atten flight attendants were very, very kind. It was a nice business trip with you. It was nice knowing you, man. So after landing in Seattle, we went to Delta Lounge to take a shower to freshen it up. One good thing about Delta is they always make sure the shower room is clean. I never been to any shower room. It was dirty. So that's something I really appreciate them keeping it up and it's very spacious as well. So we did not eat in the Delta Lounge, but these are the foods they're offering because we think Centurion Lounge food tastes better, so we decided to eat over there, but these are the options for you if you're interested to visit the Delta Lounge to eat your lunch or dinner. But one thing to call out, I like their cream chowder. So I usually eat here, but I didn't that day. And 
then we came to Centurion Lounge. Centurion Lounge actually have their own barista. You can order a drink from them and they make it for you. You can even order a custom drink. And they actually have an ice cream machine. They are making an ice cream fresh. And these are the food options. It's a buffet style, so you actually scoop whatever you want. This is honey lavender latte yeah. and matcha tea latte. This is super salty. Yeah. Curry? Yeah, it's a kind of vegan curry. option. Or, I don't know, vegan or vegetarian? Anyway. Cheers! Back to US. Mm. Since we had some layover time, so I was doing some video editing and Vinny was sleeping. And we're flying back to Arizona and we got a front row seat. We totally forgot the this front row seat is no good. You get a little bit more of leg room, but you get a really small screen like that. The time when we were flying, the sunset was so pretty. So I want to share it with you. Here you go. While enjoying the sunset, we got our dinner ready and it was chicken salad and a cookie. Cookie honestly was no good so I didn't even touch it. Salad was just really decent. Whenever we fly domestic US flight, we never think the food was good. Look at that light bulb. It's not even working for the first class. It's blinking. <laughs> he had to eat in the dark, but it is what it is. Therefore, we usually don't fly first class in US domestic flight because we whether save money to fly something nicer when we go abroad. After having a business handshaking with Vinny, we safely arrived to Arizona. First thing we did was going to H Mart to eat our dinner. And this was our three weeks of Japan journey ended and flying back to home. And I hope to see you in our next video. We'll be sharing our three weeks of Japan eternity and the plan in that video, where we went, what we ate, and whatever the tips and so on. We're not an expert, but we would like to share it, the eternity information for your plan to be easier when you travel in Japan. See you there. Bye-bye.